men and women are made by God the way they are. And obviously, you know, without, without going in, into details very much, but obviously women are nurturing. They are the ones who, have, who bear the baby, have the baby for nine months. Men, by the very nature, and they have the urgency of giving part of what they are in order to, to have that union which will produce those children. But a man is responsible. Of course, he's, he doesn't marry or he should never marry a woman just on account of her sexual allure. That's an element, um, obviously, and it, it can be, but it does not have to be by any means. It's a very bad reason, as a matter of fact, to marry because marriage is not about that in any way whatsoever. And, of course, no person, male or female, should ever be looked at or thought about or used as an object. I and mean, that goes back to our little discussion on utilitarianism. People are not objects. They are not, they are not stepping stones, nor are they are something to be trampled over. They're persons made in the image and likeness of God. They're, made, they're destined to heaven. They have immortal souls. They're persons made in God's image and likeness. And that's, that's where we have to go with that. And, and of course, and we probably will not get into it in this program necessarily, but the, this whole beautiful theology of the body that John Paul II has developed and which is now becoming more and more popular of insights into how the relationship between men and women, uh, uh, images, the relationship of the Holy Trinity, relationship of Jesus Christ coming to the to the earth, to, it's even in the mass itself, without turning everything into sexualizing everything. Obviously, the, this this coming together of the men and women in marriage, and not only in the sexual way but in other ways, is something that is divine and has to be seen in that in that way.